here we have a walk around video of a Daytona 675 that we've just taken into stock. Um, I'll be honest with you, if you're not quick in buying this one, I'm thinking I might have it myself. It's a 2013 on a 62 plate, done just over 15,000 miles. Got lots of extras which I'll go around and show you in a minute, but what makes this one stand out is it's literally, it was a pre-registered bike and it said one owner from you. Um, you just do not get these middleweight sports bikes with just one owner after 10 years, but this one has been super, super maintained. Um, it's had the 12,000 mile valve service done um, and it's in absolutely cracking condition. The owner, he, he bought a bike from me, um, part exchanged this in. Um, although he wanted to take it on track, he never ever wanted to uh, uh, do any damage to it. So he decided he, he wouldn't, um, although he's put all the bits on it as if um, he would take it into track, onto track. Now, if you can look at the, the, the um, crystal white, it's a really deep metallic when there's sunshine on it. Uh, and the sapphire blue really, really looks good with it. Um, there's no marks at all on the tank, no dents, no scratches. <coughs> he's obviously put RNG, um, tank protectors on it um, which uh, everyone wants and obviously with the knee protectors on the side they do uh, they do hold you into the bike so much better if you do take it onto the track running through to the front it's got uh, adjustable triumph levers comes down to the fairings there are no marks on this bike so I won't be pointing anything out because there isn't any um, LED indicators triumph LED indicators the Triumph uh, fairing slider dropping down. He's got GB Racing protectors on both sides of the engine. The Triumph Arrow performance exhaust. Excellent uh, tyres, front and rear. They're the Batlax um, Hyper Sports. He's got Bobbins front and rear Evo Tech, and there's an Evo Tech. Tail tidy on the on the reverse. I mean, this bike is absolutely superb. No corrosion at all inside there. He literally, if it was wet, he didn't take this out. So for ten years, this bike hasn't really seen rain unless he's got caught out in it while he's been out. It's not even a stone chip on the front. Fenders all good. But said Evo Tech curve bobbins at the bottom of the fork. No marks at all on this side. GB covers. Quick shifter. It's an up shifter on these. Um, Triumph Comfort seat which makes it a lot softer than the uh, standard one. So if you run from the back of the bike across it, fifteen one eight six is the mileage. So let's start the bike up. Yeah. 